mentioned that we have seen a drop-off in turnover, volumes relatively low. We did see a good day uh, today, and we have, in fact, seen uh, a few gains over the last couple of sessions as well. Mm -hmm. uh, what was the, the big thing in today's trade, given the fact that we've also seen an extension of trading hours? Well, what we've seen is the banking sector gained uh, tremendously. Uh, today, um, if you remember, in the past since Monday, the bank, the uh, index has actually been gaining. Um, but today, we saw the biggest gains in the banking sector. Um, also, the food and beverage did uh, quite well as well. Um, the the uh, petroleum sector also did quite well. Um, I understand, of course, that uh, it, it was on the back of light trading. However, um, gains again. Mm. Uh, David, what is the update on Amcon and its bond issue? Any details on how uh, the bond issue uh, will be dealt with and the implications that it will have for the market? Um, what we know so far is that um, the, the uh, Amcon would issue three-year bond, uh, three-year zero coupon bonds um, between one trillion and 2.2 trillion naira. Um, if you compare that to actually how big the market is at the moment, just over 4 trillion naira in terms of the bond market, um, such flows into the market is huge, you know, um, and if it's going to be on the three-year end of the curve, then obviously that has serious implications for the uh, three-year bonds um, in the market. We expect that yields in those uh, in those tenors should um, actually rise because of increased supply. Mm. Uh, news out today that mm. Governor of the Central Bank, uh, Sanusi Lamido Sanusi, uh, expressing his readiness to resign if compelled to do so uh, by the National Assembly. Given the fact that Sunusi was instrumental in uh, the changing environment in the banking sector and cleaning up a lot of the issues that came to the fore during the crisis, how do you think that news could be taken up by the market? Um, I don't think we should read too much into it. Um, I think more importantly, we should read and commend the uh, CBN governor for his integrity and his stance um, on what he believed. Uh, Sincerely, what I think is, uh, I don't think it would have a strong impact on the market or whether it would derail um, uh, the progress we are seeing currently in the market. I think one thing I would take away is that uh, we're not allowing politics to influence uh, the economics of the state. Let's look at bond issuances by the government and by corporates as well. We know that Flower Mill's uh, bond issue closes today. It was a book building process uh, for 35 billion naira. Uh, it's basically the second major non-bank bond issue after the likes of UAC Properties, uh, which issued a 15 billion naira bond earlier this year. Uh, how do you see the, the play between corporate and, and government bonds playing out going forward? Um, what we've seen is you had a situation two, three months ago where the likes of UAC Properties and UBA um, coming into the market to issue bonds at 10% and 13% uh, thereabout uh, respectively. Um, during those times, yields were, current, were at as low as 8% um, on the 20-year and on comparable mm governments were around 5-6%. Um, at the moment, you have a seven-year with five-year term to maturity. Um, trade uh, was issued at 13.2%. Um, if, a, if a corporate wants to come out now, if you're aerated and you're thinking of coming out um, at uh, coming out at a spread of, say, 300 basis points, then you should be looking at being issued at between 15 and 16%. Yeah. Obviously, that is a, a significant price to pay. For a bond issue. Mm. Uh, David, it was also interesting to note that government bonds are usually deemed uh, far less risky than the likes of corporate bonds. But then Absolutely. again, uh, you know, your yield, uh, the yield that you'll be getting on a corporate bond is far higher than that of government. Are you seeing increased appetite from the, from the investor community in a lot of these companies that are willing to go to the market? Um, we're not seeing a lot of issuers on the corporate end come into the market because, as I said earlier, the price is just expensive. Um, at 15%, probably bank borrowing will be at around 12 or 13%. So there's a decent incentive to come to the market, except obviously to uh, uh, match the liabilities and assets of these issuers. What we do find, however, is people are buying uh, the government bonds even foreigners are now coming back into the market. Hitherto, three years ago, 
um, we didn't well uh, we didn't see any uh, foreign uh, institution coming to buy the gun, the bonds uh, because they were being they were priced around seven eight percent and just wasn't competitive for the carry trades but at these levels um, we are seeing increased foreign participation